Now, let's take a look at this quote very briefly. All right, this says, uh, this is a quote from Ernest Hemingway. And it says, wrote like exiled English colonials from an England of which they were never a part to a newer England that they were making. They did not use the words that people use in speech, the words that survive in language. To whom is Ernest Hemingway referring? The starter. What? The Americans. The, the, Americans? the colonists. The romantics. American colonists, the romantics. All right. Anybody got uh, another answer, or maybe a more specific answer? The name? Oh. What about Hawthorne? What about Hawthorne? What it maybe well, that is a specific name, is it not? Yeah, it is. So you think he's talking just about Hawthorne? No. No. Because it said Venus they. now has they. Oh, oh fire sides. Fire sides. Nope. What are the people that's written down on the board? The answer is, we were looking for what is American Romantics, or who are the American Romantics? Sorry, Alex. Okay. American. The American Romantics, all right? He's referring to, the, obviously, the American ones, because he's talking about the idea that they were, like, roading, they were roading, they were writing, like, exiled English colonials from an England, of which they were never a part, to a newer England, hello, New England, that they were making. Okay, it's the idea that in Romanticism, a lot of these writers were simply trying to sound like the Romantics and the uh, scholarly writers from England. They were trying to so, sound. This is a criticism like rather these people. than a praise. Ernest Hemingway is criticizing a specific aspect, a specific movement, particularly that of American Romanticism. He's saying this is what they were trying to do. Therefore, they did not use the words that people use in speech. People didn't talk like that. Right? The words that survive in language, it's not the kind of words that they wrote. Okay, so he is, yeah, criticizing in a way Romanticism. Okay, and this is obviously just something that's taken out of context. I'm not trying to say that Ernest Hemingway was a jerk, even though we'll learn more about him later. The point is, is that what Ernest Hemingway is trying to basically say is that the Romantics, especially the American Romantics, were not what? It's the word I'm looking for. English. Realistic. Nope. Realistic. Thank you very much. Which brings us to the next literary movement, okay, that we were talking about called realism. Also sometimes known as literary realism. Sometimes you'll see it written like that because obviously realism refers not only to literature, but to music and art and architecture and all kinds of different things, okay? There's, a, there's architecture too? Oh yes. Really? Oh yes. Okay. Now, I told you that I could define this literary movement for you much, much more succinctly than I had to with Romanticism, where I had the whole PowerPoint and whatnot. Okay, and I can. And here it is. You might want to understand. jot this down. This is basically the only definition I really have to give you for you to understand this movement. Okay, and here it is. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> the way things actually are. It's kind of like that thing. We're spelling it like it sounds. Define it like it sounds, okay? Realism. It's making an ism out of real. Okay, so in other words, it's obviously not even that smart of a name, but there it is, okay? Realism. The way things actually are. Now, it's very specific what we're talking about. Now, I've only got right here the writers at the time, and one thing you need to note about realism was that this was the first time in which poetry was no longer the end-all, be-all form of literature. Okay, the fireside's much more popular than Hawthorne and Melville and Irving and those guys. Poetry was king in Romanticism. Why? Because it was so uh, poetic, <laughs> to, for lack of a better definition, right? The idea of beauty and truth and love, okay? But in realism, poetry kind of lacks it a bit because with, as, we, as the bell rings here, with realism... You need to make sure that you are connecting and, and, and describing a world that is very, very true and real, and therefore novels and stories are going to become king. We'll talk more about this on Monday. Tomorrow, you need to make sure that you bring with you whatever you've got so far on your architectural story or creative moral essay. See you in the library tomorrow with that. Bring it with you.
Go straight to the library. Do not pass go. Do not. Well, I would never pay you money, but see you later.